Well, you already know Africa is made up of over 54 countries. Now, do you know that on a yearly basis, over 440,000 Africans emigrate from Africa to Western countries? Yeah. Is it a good omen or a bad omen? Well, you're about to find out. You know, just recently, Italian Prime Minister Giorgio Melani, during the 2023 year-end news conference with other uh, European Union partners, you know, did state that charity alone to Africa will not solve the issue of high migration rate, you know, from Africa to countries that actually make up the European Union. Yeah. Uh, according to her, it's it's not looking good. The number is not looking good. 440,000 uh, Africans on a yearly basis. Now, she, you know, did suggest that uh, she suggested that, uh, you know, strong partnerships and, uh, you know, strategic investment uh, alongside relationships as uh, equals. Now, relationships between these countries that make up the European Union or better still uh, Western countries and African nations, uh, Africa as a whole, is the only solution to the high emigration rates from Africa to these other countries now. Now, is, is that something you would agree to? Is it a yes or no for you? Now, we are about to find out and also, you know, look at the reason for the high rate of emigration from Africa, 440,000 Africans on a yearly basis. That's a lot. Well, welcome to this edition of the NGN Network. My name is Masichi Gloria Omokendi. And while we look at reasons as to why we have the high rate of emigration, we also get to, you know, talk about, uh, you know, ponder over how to even solve these issues. What are those areas our leaders, political leaders in Africa should, you know, look at this and many more we get to find out on this edition of the NGN Network. Emigration has affected most, if not every, African country involved. Talk about brain drain, talent drain, loss of labor force, and educational investment. Take, for instance, brain drain in the health sector is currently an issue in Africa. According to the World Health Organization's report between 2012 to 2016, 26 countries out of Africa's 54 country had 0.45 physicians per 1,000 people. In 2018, only three African countries, Libya, Mauritius, and Tunisia, had at least one physician per 1,000 people. You see, why emigration to these Western countries by Africans have benefits? There are great consequences too. Now, what are these consequences? More reports show that some African countries have lost more than 2 billion US dollars since 2010 from training doctors who then emigrate. So, back to my initial question. Do you agree to the Italian Prime Minister's statement that emigration from Africa would not come to an end except relationships and a strategic investment as equals are made in Africa by the United Nations and not just a charity all the way? Also, do you think countries that make up the European Union countries will consider this? Now, let me know what your take is uh, regarding this issue of migration coming from Western countries and emigration from Africa to these Western countries. Let me know what you think generally. Uh, also, don't you forget the Italian Prime Minister, uh, Giorgio Meloni, had already suggested, you know, for strong partnerships, uh, 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 you know, strong and strategic investments, as well as relationship as equals between uh, African nations and uh, these Western countries, like uh, countries that make up the European Union. Yeah, don't forget, she gave that suggestion. So what's your take? How do we even go about it uh, regarding everything that's been said so far? Well, this is where I wrap it up, uh, this edition of the NGN Network. My name remains... Masachi Gloria Omar Kendi. And uh, don't you forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel for you know updates on you know next African content, right? <laughs> See you in the next one. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>